everybody, it's Maria. I wanted to show you journals that I just finished. Um, I had followed uh, Artie Mays. She had done fabric covers where she used the Tim Holtz um, tissue paper and adhered it to the fabric and I just had to give it a try. Uh, I had done it once before, um, but I didn't use the same, you know, size and textures and you know Artie Mays inspires us all to just keep on keeping on she has so many great ideas so I'm going to start with this one um this one looks like uh the one that she did on her tutorial I didn't have a lace doily I would have loved to have done that but um it does sit really nice in your hand it has two signatures um let's measure it the size is about um, six inches wide by about seven and a half inches tall. Um, it's a soft cover. There's um, canvas with the tissue paper adhered to it. I did a lot of stitching. And then um, on the inside, I put another layer of um, canvas. And on this one, it has a lace pocket in the front. Um, I also followed her tutorial when she designed her tags and I followed along with her. So I included those in there in that big deep pocket and I used her freebie kit, um, on her Facebook page, added some doily to the end of it, a little tuck spot with some journaling cards. This is, um... This page is a dictionary page, and I did some napkin decoupaging to some of those, and some, um, you know, white gesso. And I added, like, a little trim to the edge. Here's another little pocket with some Tim Holtz fabric. And it has lots of vintage papers. This is from the 1800s, this a music sheet and there's some old little book pages um i tea dyed lots of paper and i use lots of washi stickers in them and some trim on the edge of a tim holtz paper this is a little actually a little tuck spot if you wanted to put something in there um this is a little um bag what do they call it? Oh, it's a little, um, it's like wax paper. Little uh, wax paper bag, and I, I stitched up the side so it had two little pockets in it. And there's some of her freebie kit. This one I just clipped on with a Tim Holtz clip. Little corner tuck with some lace. And it has a little postcard and a little journaling sheet that I in there I saw this on Facebook one of my groups um, I can't tell you who did it but um, just a cute little pocket using up some book pages and I put little tiny pieces in there of ephemera this is a lace uh, lace watercolor paper that I tea dyed this is the center of the first of two signatures and here's the other side of that um, book page. And then this is a little journaling card um, with a little side tuck. And there's tea stained paper. Um, this is a little pocket, or it's actually a large pocket that I made. And I just put a little um, bingo card in there, which I did some embellishing to. And it just fits in there. So um, let me just get that back in. There we go. Okay. On the back is some paper. And this is another one of those little, um, it's a glassine bag. <laughs> I did a little decorating to that and sewed up the middle. This is a washi sticker on some tea dyed paper. This is a cute little double um, 
double tuck that I made and stitched around. It's got two little journaling cards in there and then one in the back with some seam binding ribbon on the top. I like to put some trim on the edges of a lot of the pages. A little stamping, a little butterfly page. So a lot of fun. I love the colors in this. I love all the textures and it's just really my style. So I'm really happy with the way this one came out. I need to get some more avocados so I can make some more avocado paper because that would have gone really well in this book. And this is a little tiny glassine bag and just a little journaling card stuck in there. This is a little flip out that I made. It's got a little pocket in the side, some lace down here. And then on the inside, there's a tag that pops in the middle. I love the stitching on the edge of the page. This is some more decoupage. A little side tuck, a little cluster. Another Tim Holtz fabric pocket with some journaling cards in it. This is, um, I have uh, the Tim Holtz um, wildflower die cuts. And this was like, um, you know, what do they call it? The reverse part that I just made a little side tuck with. A little postcard in there. And there's some, I put some paper on the um, music sheet just so that you can do some writing in there. Another little cluster. This is also a tuck. A little uh, die cut that I had. Another double pocket here, a little lace tab. Love these books. They came out so sweet. And they're all very similar, so i um, going through this one pretty well, but the others I'm just going to kind of go through fast. There's a little cluster in here. Another one of those little book page pockets. This is the center of the second signature. Another of those little tiny tag pockets. This is a um, envelope that I made. It's um, an embossed envelope. I didn't put anything in it, but um, I figured, you know, it was so beautiful. Gave a little texture to the page and I figured you could use it to add some of your own things in. Little Tracy Fox ta mini tag. This is another of those um, bags with the double pocket. And this is just a little side tuck cluster that I made. I watched somebody on YouTube make a ton of, I think it was, um, I think it was Junie, uh, Junie? I, f I forget, but she, I, you know, I made a whole bunch of clusters with her. This is a, um, this is an envelope that I made out of an old book page and there's nothing in it, but you could certainly add your own things in there. And this is more of that music sheet, little t tag that I made with some stitching and there's a little glassine envelope down here with a little um little what do they call those roller decks there's a side tuck with a old vintage um postcard put that in there love that so much fun i just adore making these it is my nice little happy place where I could just create and have some fun. Here's another one of those envelopes with some Tracy Fox labels on it. And it's empty for you to add your own little messages and memos in. So I love the way this one came out. The other two are slightly different. They have a different closure. This one just has sorry wrapped around it. Let me show you this one. So this one I used some beautiful green sari 
silk and um, I used a um, an eyelet closure and this one has I love the bird image this one has um, a lot of lace on the sides of the um, pages and it starts off with an envelope with a um, velcro closure and I did put some journaling cards in there that one closes up and then this is also one that I made with Artie Mays. Um, this is some watercolor paper that I painted and put texture on. And just a journaling card with a little bit of fabric on top. And those tuck right in here. So these were made the same way. There's a little bit of batting in there um, in between two. Um, I think the front is canvas, but... The inside is an old napkin that I had, a linen napkin, and this edge was, I folded over because I didn't want to lose this beautiful edge to it, so I folded it over and stuck that down so that we didn't lose that. I love these papers. These are from, um, this is a kit from Nikki Ogden, and I'll put the link for this kit. I love Nikki's work. She is a very talented young lady. Um, this is just an embossed little tab on top. Here's another one of those envelopes that I made out of the book pages. There's eco dyed paper and grid paper. This is just a little um, bag. And I just put a little piece of grid paper in there with a little washi sticker. And that folded in half and stuck it in here for some extra journaling space. But there's room for lots of stuff in there. A little side tuck with a vintage postcard. Some grid paper. Some Edith Holden. I love this trim. This is a little side tuck that I made out of some scraps. This is a little pocket that I made. Um, I saw someone on Facebook made it with little calico um, fabric and in some embossed paper. So I gave that a try and I love the way it looks. And then I made a little tuck spot in the back. There's some little fabric um, trim on that. I love these papers, so beautiful. Beautiful for a nature theme journal. She does such a great job. So there's some encyclopedia pages. There's another little bag with a little journal card stuck in there with a little embossed tab. I'm just going to run through this one a little quicker. I used a lot, lots of washi stickers in here. There's my napkin embossed paper. This is a little flip out, has a little, um, I don't know if you could see it, it's a little um, tuck spot um, pocket here. And then on the front, it has a little tag in the top. This is another one of those envelopes that I made with an old book page. This one has a little circle just to tuck under the flap and it has some grid paper with a little um, washi sticker to decorate and some distressing in there. So let's make sure that's laying flat. And that just tucks in the back of this little belly band, which is from Artie Mays. It's one of her uh, base tags from her tag kit. I just love the way these came out. And there's lots of room for journaling while being, you know, something beautiful to write in. <clears throat> I just love them. This is uh, the center of the, this is the second signature. I put some lace on there. And Edith Holden. And there's another washi sticker, another pocket. Did some Tracy Fox labels and washi. 
This is also one of Nikki's, from one of Nikki's kits. I did a little embossed tag and a little postcard. Just put those back in there. This is a Tracy Fox paper. There's another one of those little uh, fabric pouches <laughs> with the embossed paper behind it. I love them. And then on the back cover, there's a tag and there's more of that watercolor paper with some watercolor painting on it and a journaling card and another envelope. And on this one, I put a bunch of little flower cards in there. So I love these little envelopes. You can fit so much in them. So that's the second one. And the last one is pretty much the same thing. Let's just do a real quick run through on that one. I love the sorry. It's just, it's beautiful. So again, these are uh, similar. This one though has a magnet uh, pocket there. It's just a little journaling card I stuck in. Handmade paper on the side. There's that little pocket. This is a, I made this tag with the Tim Holtz die cuts. And then another little tag back there. Stitching on the pages of Edith Holden. Same trim as the last one. This one has um, two CD pockets in here. A um, little different. Instead of bags, I don't think I had any more bags, so I did this instead. Still a nice little journaling spot. Love the way that came out, and I put a little embossed pocket on the back. Oh, it does have an envelope in it. And there's some more Tim Holtz die cuts there. The envelope's empty. And some more lace. A little side tuck with my collage. This is um, this is the same tissue paper from the front, and it also has napkin embossing. So I did double embossing on that one. And these are washi stickers. Love these. This is another one of those little envelopes. And this is some handmade paper. So I hope you love these as much as I do. There's the vintage postcard in there. Some beautiful tea staining. A little um, embossed pocket. Put a little stamp that I made <laughs> as a tab. And some washi stickers. Another little side tuck with the handmade paper. I love this. See, this is, the papers come in, half of them are green, half of them are white. And they're just gorgeous. Gorgeous. This one has a little um, grid paper insert that you could do some journaling on and then tuck it back in to the bag with a little side tuck on some Edith Holden another little tiny envelope that I made and it's just from using my um I just love the way they look because you use up these book pages and it's a useful little pocket. And they just have such beautiful tones on them. I love it. And here's the other CD case. Oh, I got to glue that down. The washi came up a little bit. Um, and two little journaling cards that I made. And a little tuck here. Um, and this is the other tag that goes up top here. You can see a sweet little bird in there. A little embossed paper. A little lace tab. A little side tuck. So there's lots of room in these for you to journal and to tuck things away. 
And I just love the tones that are in these. The colors are so beautiful. This is our Tim Holtz fabric. Another one of those little pockets. So I hope everyone is doing well and staying healthy. I am working hard and making journals is my nice little escape from the craziness of work. I love this one. Little journal card. So this is my happy place. Is with my little craft supplies and my beautiful papers. So I hope you love it. Another little pocket with some bunch of little botanical cards and that is the back. I am going to post these in my Etsy shop and I'll put some uh, photographs with them and I hope you love them. Have a great day. Bye.